Alrighty then, jumping straight into the Nintendo Direct. If you haven't seen my prediction video, go watch that because I made a lot of predictions on this. Okay, jump right into the first thing. Oh my goodness, yes! What? Oh my goodness. Did, wait, they're gonna start us off with side order? Oh my goodness, guys. Those dualies. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is that? It's some sort of new enemies. They're fish. They're like fish enemy. What? It's a new play style. This is totally different than what we've seen before. This is not anything like Splatoon I've ever seen before. This is like a free roam. Wait, 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 what? It's one of those clay noctilings. You with those fish we missed out. Sick of right? I'm not your enemy. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. She's Marina's friend. Color chip palette. Oh. Are we gonna, like, restore color? Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe they started out. They're starting us out with something. Oh my... What? You know we're gonna have to break down this whole thing. <clears throat> Please give us a date. Give us a date. Splatoon 3 expansion pass. Give us a date. Give us a date. Side order, come on. Side order? Yeah? Where's my date? Come on. Please. Please. Please give me a date. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Did, do, are we not getting a date? You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. Give me a date. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to release in Spring 2024. We knew this. Please look forward to it. And we knew it'd be that season. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Guys, they I'm literally that's all I wanted. I'm gonna die. Toys are back in town. This was already leaked, you guys. Donkey Kong. Mario. Oh, it's a different style. Oh, it, it doesn't look like it has the minis. Oh, no, it does. I like this. This is so cool, guys. Starting with starting us off with Splatoon side order, you know I am absolutely the most happy I could ever be in my entire life. You know I'm gonna I'm dead. Like it's a new playstyle. I'm sorry. I don't want to take away from someone who's really enjoying the. Are we really talking about a monkey tail after? Now he can get across. I mean, I just safely grab the key. I I don't know. Reach it with a handstand jump or a back. Oh, like that. That's interesting. Observe and act to collect mini Mario's, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co-op. I mean, I like this. This looks really cool. But they just started off with literally the one thing I was expecting. Also, I was right, guys, that we'd get a trailer. Just want to put that out there. Mario vs. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Nice. Begin today. That's cool. Nintendo Nice. Your passions. 
rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. A race car game, guys. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, you really can't beat Mario Kart, so... Speaking of which, I was incorrect. I thought they'd start with Mario Kart. They started us off with something that killed me. I'm probably gonna, like, cry. No, I'm itching for side order. Horizon Chase 2, launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Yay. Mario's oh. first RPG adventure here we, here we go, guys. RPG. The Super Mario RPG game is back with updated graphics. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. Oh, that's... Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. I don't know if I'll play this, guys. I'm not a huge RPG fan, but... Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three-character triple move. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So Why is it Marshmallow, Cloud Man, and Pinocchio? I just don't understand. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. <laughs> Set off for adventure with Mario and friends when Super Mario RPG launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 17th. That's cool. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Oh, it's a Princess Peach game. It's Princess Peach Showtime, right? One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Oh, wow. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then the wicked grape and the sour bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Uh oh, <laughs> now it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. <laughs> This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. Ooh. Oh yeah. The ribbon alone won't always cut it though. So let's do this. All right, we get to see what this cool thing does. Whatever this uh, superpower is that we keep seeing on Peach. Peach transformed into Swordfighter Peach. By transforming, she can use fantastic show-stopping abilities. Fend off the Sour Bunch with sensational swordplay. Is that it? Uh, that's actually really cool. Can Peach save this performance and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective Peach, investigate uh -huh. clues, and track down who done it. Who done it? <laughs> Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into Patissier Peach and save it from a sugar crash. Huh. The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. <laughs> they just had to have that from Mario. Uh... Odyssey. Many it. other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach Showtime, come on. Princess Peach Showtime <laughs> makes its debut on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. That's cool. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo Wii Shop. I really, I don't know if I'm going to play this game because, you know, kind of like a you know. <laughs> that was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Huh. Let's continue with some more headlines. 
What do we get? This game's a real toot. I don't understand why we keep getting the strangest games ever. Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Oh, yeah. This is definitely the best thing in the direct, guys. I've never seen any game more fun than this. Oh, yeah. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up and down. Or the IR motion camera on the right joy -Con Oh, hey, that's actually... No one ever uses the IR motion control. No. And mastering every control scheme won't be a walk yep, in the definitely park. super excited for this, guys. Honk your way for nearly <laughs> I'm joking. This is the worst genres, game ever. From classical to <laughs> if you can play violin and cool stuff like that, between. then it'd be cooler. But no, it's it's Plus, just... Musicians can band together in local this theater. sounds like... Me. Trombone Champ slides onto Nintendo Switch later today. Oh. Alright, guys. <coughs> we knew we'd get it. It is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon info. Oh, there he is. I I remember... I never played this game, but I remember watching playthroughs, and this part right here is all I ever remembered. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Nice. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Time for some mansion mayhem. No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum like device, the Poltergust. Oh no, guys. Use it to light I, the dark areas. I. This, I already know how to play Luigi's Mansion. I, I've played. I've played the third one. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball. Then vacuum them up. Was a strobe ball in this one, or did they re-add that? I don't know if they just added. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting. A former plant research lab. A broken down clock factory that's full of sand. A mine covered in ice and snow. And even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer modes. <laughs> exercise. It's funny. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. That's cool. I, you know. How was that? Next, we have two announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. Is this the end of the direct? Because if it's not. Huh? It's a wall, guys. I think it's a Mario pixelized thing. No, no, it's a mystery block. A mystery block. It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. Oh. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. Mm. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Oh, that's... Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. Uh, that's pretty soon. We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. That's Please cool. Stay tuned. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganondorf oh. Amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. That's cool. I'm going to do an unboxing video. And Amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will be released as a set on January 19th, 2024. I don't play that game. <laughs> and finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in Amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. 
Oh, that's nice. Um, I don't play that game either. That's all for today's Amiibo announcements. Okay, I was... Next, please take a look at this. It better be Metroid Prime 4. What is it? Oh. <laughs> it's, uh... Um... Not. This better not be the final announcement. F099, guys. I... I'm it, 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 cool. We predicted this. Where? Okay. I can't wait for their last announcement. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. <laughs> Kaboom. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. Nice. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide, to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Nice. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. Oh, yeah. players one winner it's time to race your way to first place because f099 will be available exclusively for active nintendo switch online members later today that's nice i'm just hoping that we can get more than 30 years after its original release f0 is back as a battle royale game this title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Yep. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. Okay, I, is that mid direct? I assume that was mid. All right. This racing in. All right, guys. Here we go. Sneak peek at Wave Six, the final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. Where's Pauline? Game, we know we're getting circuit. it. More returning characters are also being added in Wave Six. Uh, we From knew Diddy Kong was coming. And where's Diddy Pauline? Kong. Where's From Pauline? Wii, oh wait, and Kong. oh, no Pauline. Oh, oh, well, there you go, guys. Oh nope. <laughs> oh no, she, she did. Okay, Pauline, Funky Kong, and Diddy Kong. Those are the ones we knew and were coming. Wait, how many new characters are they adding? I didn't know we had room for all these characters. Okay. Wave six of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe they definitely are adding more characters DLC than I thought. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Nice. We could have predicted that. Yup. That's me. Can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. Obviously. The DLC can also be Why isn't Splatoon's DLC on this? I wouldn't have to pay twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. This next video will be our last announcement. Okay. Let's take a look. Metroid Prime 4. Thank you. Thank you very much. What? It's not Metroid Prime 4. Uh, is it a new Paper Mario? Or wait, what? Is this just a remaster? Oh, it's Paper Jam. Are you kidding me? It's just a remaster. It's not... What? Uh, Alright, this gets this direct gets like a 3 from uh, 3 stars out of 5. I don't want to be mean to people that like these, but... I, it, it's a remake. It, you finish a direct with something big. There's like no new games.
I don't understand. I'm so disappointed. Please don't be our final announcement. <laughs> I don't understand why. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you'll look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. You know what I actually would like? That's all for today's Nintendo Draw. That's ridiculous. Thank you, for you guys know I'm going to talk a lot about this later for other stuff, but make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys later.